Extra Cancers. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Oracle energy reading. So wherever cancer energy influences your natal chart or influences your life. So it could be coming at you from outside, right? Um, pull up a chair. This energy, this, this reading is for you. Um, if you want a deeper read, there is always an extended reading that goes into, that I use tarot for. So I pull the tarot card deck and it goes into much more specifics, really personalized things and talks about like the players a little bit more. And that includes a full romance reading as well. That link is in the description box below. Please join me over there. Um, if you want to get these uploads as soon as they come out, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so that you know as soon as I upload each of the videos. All right, Cancer let's get into our energy though I try to remain objective as a reader it's a little bit difficult because <laughs> I always want to see what the heck there's a part of me that's always like waiting for like okay what's what's cancer to expect this week uh, let's see cancer 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 coming out both ways <laughs> coming out both ways so that's either balance or um, a stomach virus. We'll see. Um, oh, there's a lot here. That's a little too much, I have to say. Big old reading, man. Big old reading. Hold on. Oh, that's popping out. I swear to God, you guys, it is like literally popping out like front and back. I don't even understand that. That's crazy. Crazy good. Spirit... I was like, I was just thinking, I need a crowning energy. And as soon as I thought it, spirit has a plan. It's destiny, it's fate. This is benchmarked. This is fate, not free will. Spirit is guiding you. This is also divine intervention. This is also getting the touch, like getting tapped. It's like God is calling you. This is essentially, whatever is happening now is for a bigger reason. It's for a higher purpose. So it's going to take your faith. It's going to take you to understand that even if it's painful, um, even if it's scary, um, it, there's, there's a divine plan at work and it, yes, it, it, it's, it's directly got to do with you. It's 150% have to, has to do with you Cancerians. This is the divine plan. It could be our divine plan. I had, I had a hypothesized that maybe this is was the this COVID nineteen global quarantine was the perfect way for cancers to go out to leave their North Node responsibilities and and hand them over to Gemini. It was like, listen, you know, we tend to be a more subtle sign. We tend to be easy to ignore until we're not. And then it's like, didn't I tell you to put more? Uh, focus on the house and home didn't I tell you to put more focus and respect your families and care for your families but we had all this Saturn and Jupiter energy in Capricorn and it just kept pulling your attention away from where the north node was supposed to be and guess what where the, where, where the north node was and guess what COVID-19 bitches COVID-19 now you're gonna stay inside and now you're gonna focus on your families and now it's not gonna be about making money at all because nobody's gonna be making money we're all gonna be fucking broke you know, it's almost like, you know, I've, we've talked about this before, right? But this is, this is more personal than that. Do you know, this is, it could be, right? The tail end of that. Hopefully it's going to end soon, right? But this is more personal. This is more your life. What's going on right now? As above, so below, right? So as above, where there's, there's this bigger, there's this bigger reason, bigger rationale for why all this is happening to us. So it is in your life. That whatever is going on in your life that is screwing it up, making it tumultuous, turning it upside down and turning it on its head, cancers, there is a reason for it. And usually that reason is to teach you and change you and prepare you for what's really meant for you. And just as I say that, this is you, little butterfly, it's time to spread your wings. It is a transition. It is a time, you're, you're being put through the fire to, um, to, uh, to uh, make you into, harden you into something else. 
to make you into, to change you. Fire changes people. Pressure changes people. You know, pressure changes coal into a diamond and uh, fire makes, you know, um, melds metals into each other and, and ch ch changes metal into steel. You know what I'm saying? Like it, 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 it tempers, it tempers softer metals into harder ones. It's, it's, it's changing. We're changing. We're going through pressure and we're going through fire right now. And it's all to make us what we were destined to become. And, and it's almost like, you know, the universe turns up the freaking heat when we haven't responded. And it's like, and it, I think overall, it's a beautiful thing. In other words, confirmation cancerians, you are going through a transitional period in your life. Your life is changing and it's changing permanently. You're never going to go back to the way that things were because the way that things were is not the way that they were meant to be. Time for a beginner mind. Oh, yes. This is Aquarian energy, but it's definitely our stance and how we're looking at this. Oh, okay. I will, I will start over, but I am not going to like it. You know what I'm saying? That kind of energy of like, oh, you want me to start over? Psh spikes out bitch spikes out you know it's like all right then you're gonna get my needles you're gonna get my defensiveness we know that's cancerian thing like we, we get it we understand but this is it, it's 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 really more I, i'm silly i know it's really more to say we're we know this is a new beginning this is a new start and the reason why we're so defensive and the reason why we're so scared is because we have never been here before. We are at a place in our lives that is is brand new to us. We don't even know what we're looking at if we can see through the mist because some of us are looking right into mist. We we don't even can't even see a foot in front of us. So Cancerians, this is a confirmation of yeah, we get it that this is you and you have to prepare yourself. You have to prepare yourself in the only way that you can feel safe, which is to brandish your swords and let people know what you're packing. Don't mess with me while I'm going through the change. Sometimes life stings. This is scorpionic energy. This is the world. Your world is changing and it hurts. This is also a hurt world, a world in pain, a world that's suffering. And I don't understand how you can be Cancerian and not be picking up on that. You know, it's like this is, this is, um, a time when a lot of people are stressed, a lot of people are sad and scared and being the most psychic sign in the Zodiac, I don't think that it's possible for you to not be absorbing that, right? So a lot of this pressure is also being felt on the outside. It's not necessarily just you. It's, it's what you are picking up on the vibes because the whole planet is feeling this, you know? Yeah, sometimes life hurts. And this is, I know it sounds unsympathetic, guys, but it's, it's not. It is, it is, I think, the root of all sympathy, which is, this is something we all go through. It's the root of all empathy, which is, we know, we know, it does. Sometimes it hurts. It hurts. Change hurts. And the only way to protect yourself from it is, is to make yourself look tough on the outside, even when you know, on the inside, you're just this tender little critter that really doesn't have any of the defenses uh, if you don't, if you don't like brandish all you got right up front, right? Your central energy, also uh, 44, stability to the max, but also adds up to eight, which is destiny. It's sitting right beneath, and I'll flip the camera so you can see the cards. More destiny, eight and eight. That means money's coming in, so better look out for those government stimulus checks and loans that you applied for. But also, you can reclaim your power. You can get your power back. You can get your sense of who you are back. This is coming out of the dark, like you've been hiding in the shadows. And I think this is the soul you, your soul, your truth has been hiding in the shadows for too long and now it's being forced into the sunlight. And you know what? The sunlight fucking hurts. It hurts your eyes, it stings, and it's hard. It's like, oh no, no I wanna go back to the dark. Give me the freaking shades, you know? But it's, um, that's not a choice anymore because the, let's put it this way, it's almost like the edge of the forest is receding to expose you. You don't have a choice anymore. You have got to come out. Um, but you are, this, this is a more bold step. This is a more bold footing. This is a more, a bolder you. This is something that was hidden coming into view, but this is the hidden parts of yourself. 
that are coming out. And in doing that, you are actually stronger. Yeah, you're, you're taking what you think, what, what, it's almost like you're taking the most vulnerable parts of yourself and saying, here. And in doing so, it's like you're punching the shark. You're like, nobody ever expected you to lay it all raw, right? They expected you to keep hiding it. But it's those darker shadow sides of you that you're saying, look. Unabashedly and unashamed. And it's when you are able to do that, Cancer, that you really love yourself. Trust in the great mystery, awakening. Six plus five is the energy of 11, which is awakening. And you've got 11 here, right? So you're just letting it, you're just diving in, letting it all flow over you. Um, trusting in the harmony that is the unknown. This is diving in deep going to the depths. This is not holding back and not being afraid. And, and like I said, just giving yourself over to your emotions and the powers that be. The only way out is through. And so you're diving in. This is diving into your emotions. It's almost in some ways a practical, a practical use of your emotions is actually going to lead you to be a big fish in a very, very big ocean. You know, it's like things are getting not only deeper, but bigger. And then here we have learn from the past. So this is definitely a reflection that you're going through of all the things that you've been through. Your past has led you to where you are now. An understanding and an expression of the lessons that have been learned, the ways that you changed. Two plus five is the energy of seven. You are literally creating something based on lessons that you've learned through the pain that you've been through. And then 10, which is once again, this energy too, 10, right? The hurt and the pain is yielding 10, abundance and prosperity. So there is, and this is Taurus energy, so it's financial abundance and prosperity Brief side note and intentional digression. There is a new moon in Taurus tonight. Oh, this is going to come out the next day. It's okay because you can still do it. There's a new moon in Taurus um, that is seriously going to impact us. It actually happens at 1030 um, on the 22nd on Wednesday. This is going to come out on a Thursday. So just understand that energy is still available for you on Thursday to write your intentions and welcome in the abundance that you really want. And here is what I task you, Cancerians. Ask for one thing. I know we write a whole list every, every day of the universe. Like it's in Christmas time. We're writing to Santa Claus. Choose one thing. That is the most important thing. That is the everything to you. Choose that one thing. And you write that down on your list. What you want to manifest. Not, I want him back in my life. No. No. What do you really, really, your dreams, that hidden part of yourself that you've hidden and you've constantly given away to other people that you should have been given away to your passion. What is it that you need to manifest? You write that down on a piece of paper and because it's a Taurus new moon, you plant it in the earth to let it grow. Grounding your energy. Be playful. Six, love. Loving life. This is the energy. This is Gemini energy communications. Keep it light. Using communications to keep it light. It's, a, it's some kind of communications that you're using. It's grounding you. You could be communicating through speech, through drama, through music. Some sort of communications you're using to keep yourself happy. To keep yourself feeling like, oh my God, the world isn't collapsing all around me. Time to heal. You're using it as a healing mechanism. Staying on the, staying on, staying, um, using communications to keep you buoyed up float, to keep you grounded, but feeling good and to heal. There is a coiling, a sexual poison, sensuality, this heat, a burning heat deep in your loins and it's going to spring out of you. And if you're using that passion to like spew it, to spew it out, you get to poison out. And in doing so, use that energy to push yourself forward. This is also the energy of 10, which is completion. The pain is almost over because you're using it. You're using it. 
Oh, surrender now. Nine plus three is 12, which adds up to three. This is divinity, trinity, union, and holiness, complete and total balance. This is the same sort of energy as this. In other words, you're just allowing this all to happen. Like a moth to a flame, you're flying right in because you've accepted. This is the acceptance. 15, 15, divine counterparts. This is the acceptance of having to go through the flame to be changed and molded into something stronger. Hold on. I'm going to review the cards again. All right. So grounding your energy is acceptance. All right, let it burn. Let it spew, let it out. Let me use this pain and this suffering as a means to almost communicate what I need to communicate to keep myself alive, right? That's your grounding energy. Your crowning energy is this is supposed to happen. Very personal time in your life to go through this transitional period. You need to be put through this. Why? To be the best of yourself because your fate is coming. And I keep saying this, it's more beautiful than you could know. This is you diving in deep. This is your energy, your Kundalini energy, 44, 55. A double multiplied energy, multiplied energy, not a multiplied, but doubled numbers, right? So it's, it's compounding the energy of that number. A powerful change, but a powerful ability to ground yourself, to... Um, love yourself, to honor yourself and celebrate everything that you are, maybe that in a way that you've never done before, in a way that you should have done all along, but hey, should have, would have, could have, right? We're here, we are now. I'm going to move over to tarot. I want to continue this reading to see all the abundance and the details of what is to come and then also go into our romantic reading. Cancerians, I'll see you guys over. The link is below.